What's up everybody, it's Chelsea Brianna J here with a video dedicated to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I've done this video before on my channel, I will have that link down below. It was quite some time ago, you guys can see baby Kelsey do a makeup look. But I wanted to do it again and of course breast cancer awareness has everything to do associated with the color pink so I wanted to do that today so I have a pink background, everything pink on my face and of course I have my ribbon on here. Also today is October 21st which is National Mammography Day so don't forget to go see a physician every year. Also do self exams at home. So I wanted to do this video to support National Breast Cancer Awareness Month and also to bring attention to the situation a lot of people People think that just because they're younger or they're this it won't happen to them just make sure that you are aware of everything and just literally stay abreast of the situation so I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial if you recreate it or if you go to any events and you decide to wear this makeup look make sure you tag me on Instagram at Kelsey Brianna J pound Kelsey Brianna J I will have all that information here and if you like this look make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much enjoy as per usual, I'm going to go ahead and apply an eye base. This one is Max Lang Low Paint Pot. Next, I'm taking the Mac Say Chic Palette, and this is the palette that I'm going to be working predominantly out of. I'm going to take this color right here. This one is called Drawing a Blank with a Mac 252 Large Shader Brush. And I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid to set the paint pot, and I did a very thin layer of the paint pot. So next I have my blending brush and I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to go on with this color right here and I fear that I'm going to pronounce it wrong but I think it is pronounced Demi Taz. This is a MAC 186 brush but I am going to fluff this directly in the crease back and forth. I actually am going to go over that with soft brown which is more pinky toned. This one has more of a coral undertone, so I'm going to go right on top of that with soft brown. Next I'm going to go in with the color All Rosy Same Brush and I'm going to apply that directly into my crease. Next I'm going to take the color Your Bluffing and apply this on my lid. I'm going back with the 252 by MAC which is a pretty large shader brush and this is going to cover a lot of area at one time. You might want to be careful though that you're not applying it everywhere and so you may want to use the edge of the brush to apply the specific color. So I am going to pack this on my lid until it's opaque meaning I don't see any splotchiness. This is a pretty good eyeshadow palette so it's not going to take you very long to do this. But anytime you use like the milky pastel -y colors, white, a lot of times you're going to have to build it up to be the intensity that you want it to be. Next I'm going to deepen it slightly using the color Embarked. I have a really small tapered blending brush by MAC. This one is a 221. Here I'm so tapping this color and then blending it in. So I'm not going to take this all the way on the lid and I also am not blending all the way over as you may notice. You see how it takes it from here to here. You can obviously leave it here, do a little bit of liner, a little bit of mascara or lashes and you're good to go. Or if you want to glam it up just a bit, you can take that there. And then of course we have to add a little bit of trauma on the inner corner and a little bit of something, something underneath my brow. So for that I'm going to take the pigments Vanilla by MAC and Oldie But A Goodie and I am going to press that, oh my god so pretty, on my very inner tear duct and blend it over. I'm taking the same pigment and lightly tapping it with the 224 brush. Make sure you tap off all the excess and right underneath that brow bone I'm going to buff this color 
there to give a nice iridescent sheen. So let's come back to the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face. So normally I already have my foundation on to save time on camera, but I bought this brush in support of the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This one is by It's Brushes for Ulta. For every Love Beauty Fully brush you purchase, It Cosmetics will donate one brush to the Look Good Feel Better program to help women face the effects of cancer treatments with confidence. Together we are making the world more beautiful one brush at a time. I'm gonna mix my foundations just a bit so I need to take off my earrings. So I have the Makeup Forever HD Stick in the color Y445 so I'm going to apply a little bit of that like around the perimeter of my face. And then this brush is so soft and it's buffing in my foundation pretty good. And so for the inside of my face, I'm using the Dior Air Flash Foundation in the color 400. So I'm going to shake it up pretty good. And some people spray it directly on their face. I personally prefer to spray it on the brush. So just going straight on the brush. And I coat the brush. And I go through and dot areas where I want foundation to be. So pretty much on the center of the face, I do a touch on the nose. And then I go back through and blend it out. Even though this foundation is a spray foundation, it doesn't really dry that fast. So that's good if you want to just do the method like what I did. So you don't have to work extremely fast. So for concealer today, I'm taking the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. I have the color medium and I'm going to clean up underneath my eyes and then come back to my eyes. Honestly, I still feel a little dark underneath there, so I'm going to go in right here with the Tarte Shape Tape just to brighten it a little bit more. I like this Smashbox one when I want to look a little bit more natural, but I want a little bit more flawlessness, so I'm going to go in with this Full Coverage Concealer. Now to set that, I'm going to go ahead and take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So I want to do something super fun, so I have glitter and glitter glue. I want to do a glitter line. As I was saying before my camera battery died, I'm going to take the glitter glue on the back of my hand and I'm using a brush that I don't really care about anymore and I'm going to trace an outline like I would draw any other winged eyeliner that I'm going to wear. So I want it to be a little bit dramatic so I'm going to do it thicker. So then I'm going to dip my brush right into the glitter. I'm using the MAC Reflex Very Pink. It's just in an old jar, but they still have the same glitter. And I'm going to press this in the area where I apply the glitter glue. I'm going to set my entire face because I don't want a lot of the glitter there. This is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. For my lashes today, I am going to go ahead and use some Salon Perfect 615s because these are gorgeous. So while we wait for our lashes to dry, let's go ahead and finish up the bottom. Chalk full all the way across um, on the very inner corner. We are going to add a little bit more of that pigment that we added. On my waterline, I'm taking a white eye pencil. This one is Fascinating Eye Coal by MAC. And but I'm gonna go ahead and move on. I have all my lashes and everything is all done with my eyes for now, pending that they don't start tearing up. Hopefully they won't. So for cheeks, I'm going to mix two Peony Petal and Breath of Plum. I'm gonna do a little bit of a highlight lituation. This is the Dior Nude Air Glowing Guarding 001 Glowing Pink. I know it's limited, guys, but use whatever pink highlighter you have. I just so happen to not have a whole lot of pink highlighters for use, whichever one you have. And let's do some lips. I have a lip pencil by MAC. This one is called Soar. And then I'm going to do a gloss, Saint Germain. It shears out a lot. It looks like super, super bright and opaque, but on the lips, like you can build it to that point, but pretty much it's very soft. 
And the last thing, my Fix Plus is even pink because it's my limited edition one. This is my rose scented Fix Plus from last year. So I thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Don't forget to do your self checks. Also, don't forget to go to the doctor regularly. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also leave me a comment. I like talking with you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Smooches. Bye.